All right, howdy folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to more Gates of Hell. Though today we are actually not playing the World War II version of Gates of Hell. We are playing with a World War I mod called Some Desperate Glory. I'll have a link down to it uh, in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. It is a little bare bones right now. Those are the words of the developers. But basically the idea is it's going to be like Battle of Empires, but inside Gates of Hell. And I think actually Gates of Hell really lends itself perfect for a World War I setting due to the brutality in the game, due to the graphics, the uh, the overall look of Gates of Hell. I feel like this really fits with a World War I setting. Now, currently, there's only two factions available, uh, the Germans and the British, but the cool thing is you can actually play this with or, well, against AI. So today, we are just doing a simple little battle, uh, 2v2, uh, playing on, I believe, the Argonne map. There's also like six maps there's armored vehicles, we have artillery, gas, uh, some vehicles like tanks. Though, again, it's it's relatively bare bones. Uh, even the developers themselves say, hey, you know, don't expect much at the moment. I think it's version 0.1. So it gives you an idea of, of you know, how far along the, the mod is, according to the developers themselves. But I figured I'll take a look at it today. Also, because I still wanted to give away one of the Gates of Hell copies of Gates of Hell and the DLCs. So on screen, uh, I'll show you who won. And obviously, congratulations to them. And I will be giving away another copy. So all you have to do is just leave a comment. Uh, make sure you include your Discord username uh, as is tradition. Because what I'll do, I just pick a random person, say, hey, you've won, congratulations. And then I just send you a whole bunch of codes over Discord. So I think we should try to set up our units a little bit more up to the front here. Because this is, in the end, uh, going to be a very defensive battle. It is War One after all. Although there's a whole lot of guys running in here. Maybe we'll try to grab one of these gas launchers. I think it might be one of these. The Siege Gun, I think, has the gas launcher on it. But at the moment, there are just those two factions. I think there's even gas. Or some units could throw on gas masks, although I'm not sure what units, but some units could. And also, this game just gets a lot more brutal when you go into that third-person uh, direct control mode. I'm not sure if a first-person direct control uh, mod exists for this. Okay, we're actually being surrounded right now. I really need to step up my game here. Maybe we can try to flank the guys in the middle. And we'll get these Totenkopf Pioneer. Or Pioneers. I think the MG is one of the stronger, well, I mean, as it should be, but it's one of the stronger things that your squad can deploy. So you want to make sure he is set up right. This is an MG-0815. I wonder if the Pioneer guys have a machine gun. So the developers themselves say that it's very basic. There is a lot of work that still needs to be done, especially when it comes to uh, naming units. And there's units that are just question marks. Like if you look over here, Actually, no, here, like there's this bugs and stuff all throughout and they're saying, hey, it's version 0 0.1. Just let us do our job and eventually there'll be more there. But it's cool to just see World War One in Gates of Hell, honestly. Like I'm, I'm personally very excited to see this because it's something that, again, I feel like Gates of Hell really suits uh, this setting. Like it really fits the setting. It's brutal. It's a little dark and... Um, it's something that I think this perfectly fits with what Gates of Hell is and how it feels like. Ever since I played that first German mission uh, from the German campaign, like what, May of 2021? Almost, I think more than two years ago now. And I was instantly sold like, yo, this is a great game. And uh, I'm super happy to see that they, as in the community, I should say, have uh, have finally come around and, and made some cool mods like World War One stuff. And this is obviously only the beginning. Okay, this is just absolutely brutal. This is only the beginning, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see a whole bunch more World War One content considering, oh my. Okay, well, we just set ourselves on fire, but that was still brutal the long, the while, while it lasted. Okay, that's interesting. So we just got gas deployed on the map. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm interested to see what would happen. There technically is supposed to be a gas mask command. But I really would be I, doubtful that the AI has the ability to do that. I also haven't found my ability to do that. Guys, don't run into the green cross. You're just going to die. I have no clue what it's going to happen. Or if they're, like, Oh, okay. This looks like they lose health over time. Or, wait, did they have their gas masks on? Oh, no, they don't. 
Okay, that's actually a perfect hit with the green cross. So I'm wondering if it's they're gonna start taking damage. This is actually going to be quite brutal. If they, oh, I need to hit closer. Oh no, they're losing health. They also look like they were slowed down for a second. We do have a tank in our spawn, I think, but I'm not sure that it's, okay, with an A7V in the back, but yeah, I don't know if it's actively, uh, actually working or not. Let's get somebody shoots in, because we do need to start protecting this middle area. I'm not sure this green cross is doing anything. Guys, is kind of standing there menacingly. They don't really seem to care too much about it. But it might be a better idea to swap to the regular ammo. Oh, I guess we can just keep firing with the green cross. But then we'll use the 21cm uh, gun that we have for like the actual... Oh, there's like little skulls on there. I only just now noticed. Okay, it's cool though to see that it's something they managed to get to work on the actual map. So I guess the Schutzen have an anti-tank anti rifle. They have... Oh, this, some of them have like an armored vest. It looks like we have two machine guns that did the Tiga there. It looks like we also have a sniper or a marksman, which is kind of interesting, but it's cool. They have that. I don't know if it actually works, of course, but if it does, that would be really cool. But they do seem to have some of them have that armored plate. It would be cool to see. Actually, I think if I'm not wrong, this actually might, I don't know if it works, but this might be that armor helmet plate that potentially could stop a shrapnel. I don't know if it would stop an actual rifle round. Uh, but I guess that was the idea behind it, was to have uh, this as like an anti-sniper plate, so the bullet would hopefully not penetrate the front of the, the helmet, but I don't know if that's uh, actually working or if it's just... It probably does not work in the game. Although it would be cool to see that as like just acting as extra health or extra armor, but yeah, I, I'd be surprised. We need to get this gun to start firing. And the smoke, a little surprising that it doesn't explode and then cause the smoke to sort of appear. But it's probably an engine thing. Okay, this thing is just completely bugged. It actually may be to a point where it's like a, a direct weapon, even though obviously it shouldn't be. Oh no, they've run over my most. Oh, they've just completely run over my Schutzen squad. So that's not good. We have an ammo carrying mule. I don't think that's going to be very useful. Grenadier rifleman. I like the sound of that. That actually could be useful. I don't think this is working out for us here. Let's switch to regular HE. And we need to start pushing up here. I mean, I feel like my... Um, I'm not really doing a lot for my team. I do have not a lot of points because I spent it on that A7V. Let's get some Lundwehr, which are just like recruits or... Um, I believe they're like a, they're obviously like a reservist force. I don't know if we can use our gun here finally. I don't know, it's just kind of trolly because I think it might not only, it might only be able to be fired like directly even though it's an artillery piece. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from the fact uh, it doesn't want to like aim up. Interested to see how my, okay, my A7V should just get out of here but it might just be a bad map for it. So again, you know, version 0. Point one, uh, clearly it doesn't really like this map. Let's put some sandbags down. And then when the sandbags are down, let's see if we can at least fire this 21 centimeter. But as you can see, it doesn't want to fire over that ridge. So it needs like a direct line of sight. But the thing is, it's going to be hard to do that because this terrain is a little messy. We need to get the artillery on the right here to do more. We need to get some actual artillery going off here. Oh, get the armored car. That could be useful. Okay, that was good. That was actually pretty good. Our A7V, whenever it gets here, may also be somewhat useful. But until it gets here, it's just, well, it's just wasting uh, wasted points. I wonder if we can fire from this range. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised that this gun isn't working. But at the same time, I can't really... Oh, I'm trying to do something meme here. Okay. Okay. That kind of worked. I mean, uh, not really, but sort of. Slightly. The idea is there. We have our uh, armored car as well. Oh, that was a direct hit. What just... Was that a grenade launcher? It looked like an explosion of sorts. 
Okay, my uh, air heart is on the map. Now also my A7V has finally arrived. Let's get some more of these line infantry. And let's hold fire on this guy. And we could actually maybe do some more green cross, just because it's kind of interesting. Although, it could also limit your own ability to attack, obviously, if you do it, like, right in front of where you're trying to run. So I feel like you want to do it more in the back, like, more along their entry, uh, just so it, like, you know, slows them down or does whatever the green cross does, which I think just... I think it slows them down, as well as damages them, but I don't have proof for that last one. Okay, so I think we need to get... I think we need to aim up more, more, more... Trying to get this up. If you aim up high, it seems to allow you to... Oh, my... Okay, well, it's a shame that that artillery doesn't really work the way it's intended because those are some crazy explosions. Or his A7V is definitely not stuck. No, sorry. We're just going to try to get you around. It is firing. I don't know if it's... Does it do anything yet? It's got one kill. The armored car's got 14, so it's doing a little better than the... Uh, and then the tank. Crawl our man forward. Our this gun reloads very slow. That gas is actually landing like on, I don't know how this artillery is this inaccurate when I aimed here and it's landing here, but I guess it is World War One artillery after all. So yeah, this 21 centimeter is interesting. It's a shame that it just really doesn't work. We could try to use a mortar. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, this is what we want, the mean and verifier. I think that's what we want. I think that is going to be the perfect tool. And then we can even uh, grab this crate and see if there's any anything worth grabbing in there. Again, is this like a grenade? I think that might be a grenade launcher ammo type. Let's take a look here. Okay, so maybe this guy could technically fire that, but I really don't want to spend a lot of time on microing the ammo. Okay, they're, oh, they're green. Oh, God, the accuracy in that is just terrible. But it is a War 1 artillery piece, so it, it makes sense. That green gas, I, we cannot have, like, on our own troops. we got to be a little careful here. I think it's time to push up and try to get this middle point back. As we switch back to regular HE. And we get some more Toten Cup Pioneer. And maybe we can finally push in there. I really wish that that side... I know this thing has three machine guns. One on the front and then two off to the side. Oh, it just got hit. The A7V is has way too many targets in front of it. Okay, my squad just got annihilated there. A 21 centimeter might actually be used here. I tr I'm trying to get it to target up, but it just does not want to. I don't know if I can force it to go further. Nah, eh, that just blew up some barbed wire, it looks like. We do have this Minenwerfer, which is going to be probably my most useful piece of artillery. Especially because the 21 centimeter has just been uh, a waste. Oh, luckily, I think it was the special point upgrade and not like one of these other units are, that are, you know... Like, not one of the ones that I bought. Ooh, that was like a direct hit inside of a trench. I want to see if I can get my um, Sturm Pioneer with the flamethrower up in this trench up here. A7V, let's crawl you forward, literally. And armored car, it's just waiting for the A7V to move out of its way. Let's get in here now. We actually have created some space. Okay, hold fire after this next shot. That was not terrible. Let's get you moved up, though. Look, we're going to be more accurate that way. Okay, this guy, this guy just got absolutely got annihilated. Switch to the machine gunner. And just try to get rid of some of these enemies that are charging at us here. I feel like uh, the enemy or the AI just wants to sit there and fire like one or two shots. But we need them to be a lot more deadly than that. Can I get a medic? I don't even see the point in necessarily having a medic at this point. So, eh, we'll just get another like machine gun detachment. And we'll crawl a German or two inside of the trenches here. Our A7V, let's slowly but steadily reload all of the machine guns. 
and I think it honestly makes more sense to park it like semi sideways because the machine guns I think are just more useful. Wait, there's eight, eight guys in this little car. Okay, sure. I guess it would be two per machine gun, and then a driver and a gunner, or a driver and like a commander or something, right? So you got six crew for the machine guns. Can we get inside of it and look? I don't think. Okay, it's a shame that we can't like glitch inside and see the actual guys in there because I, I, I swear it would be two, two, and two. And then a driver and like a commander or driver and a co-driver or something. That's still insane though. Let's get a mortar to move up a lot more. And it would be nice to get this ammo crate. And if we get we can get the Schutzen, because we still have 30 uh doctrine points. So we can get those Schutzen on the right. That would be good. Okay, we actually spotted an enemy. Oh, <laughs> Uh, okay, as you can see, it's version 0 0.1. That is awesome looking. But yeah, it's very clearly um, not finished. That's a, a texture bug. That's what the uh, check mark or checkerboard uh, colors mean, the black and white squares. So that's pretty funny. Oh, wow. The A7V is being artillery by this 122 millimeter howitzer all the way in the back. We're going to need a lot more infantry in here. So we're going to get some more light machine gun units. Set those up ahead. This armored car probably won't be long for this world. Oh, 116 kills. Only 23 for the A7V. I wonder if the range on this mortar... It may need to be closer. We can probably put it... Ooh, what if I got an MG-08 and put that down... In the point, like a stationary machine, and that could actually be good. I'm trying to put the mortar inside of this explosion hole. I guess that would be called a crater. <laughs> if we can make it in there, I think it's going to be in an amazing. This actually looks pretty cinematic from down here. Seeing the A7V and the armored car. Okay, this is a really cool position, so we're going to deploy it even deploy some sandbags if I wanted to and now I think we're just going to did it just oh okay there goes my armored car mostly but there goes my mortar it's finally firing was that the 17 it must have been that's actually insane oh our a oh our a7v our AI has finally gotten here they have finally arrived on the battlefield. That's actually really cool. Our machine gun slowly but steadily making its way here. And our ammo crate will be making its way over here as well. Try to see if we can get a hit on on these guys on the left. I mean, 70 centimeter is a 170 millimeter gun. That's like twice the size of a Flak 88. So the explosion being that big actually makes makes a decent amount of sense when you think about it. You know, I don't want to do Schutzen uh, units just because you get uh, 10 guys for free or a squad for free, so it's kind of nice. Ammo crate is doing its job. This car has definitely not, uh, you know, has seemed to... Wait, how many guys could fit in here? I feel like it would be more than a crew of six. I feel like it'd be eight plus 10 plus a driver commander. So you got eight for the machine guns, two more for the gun. So I think the crew of an A7V might have been like 14 or 15, if I'm not mistaken, or or 12 at least. I don't know if we can really get into this car, but we might as well try. While we are going to set up this machine gun here, the middle right, and then we'll deploy it. And we even, maybe we'll get an anti-tank of there, or a TIG of there, but it's, it's an anti-tank rifle, but it's called the Tiga Vare, which I think it stands for tank rifle, which I believe, if I am not mistaken, is just a giant Car 98 with, obviously, a different ammo. But I swear that's what it is. I'm trying to get a... I'm trying to get this guy to stop running for a second. I think that's what it is. I think it's a... If I'm not mistaken, it's a giant Car 98, basically, or the ID is very similar to her Car 98. But... I mean, in the end, oh, it's just a massive FU gun. We are out of ammo, which actually could be an issue. So we're going to reverse my A7V and slowly drive into the 
ammo range for this crate, which may or may not give us ammo. This thing does look really cool. I always like the A7V, maybe because it just looks so weird. I think at the uh, German Panzer Museum in Münster, I might be might be off on on where it is, but I I went there. That's all I know. Münster, Münster. Uh, there's the German Panzer Museum. And they actually have some really cool stuff there, like uh, they have a King Tiger. Um, I want to say they had a Storm Tiger. But the thing that was coolest to me, honestly, was the fact they had a completely full scale. It was not a real one, I think it was a replica. But it was a replica, fully redone A7V. And it just was like such a crazy looking machine. I mean, the, the King Tiger was cool too, don't get me wrong on that. Okay, now it's all starting to come together. We have this flamethrower who is. Oh, he's healing. Okay. We are just blasting this machine gun. I'm actually surprised as to why it's not... Oh. It has the wrong ammo. Well, see, there's another thing right there. So, the machine gun doesn't have the right ammo. So, it's just a, a money waster until the ammo for it um, works. So, you know, you learn, you learn something every day. We have the Stokes Mortar. Which, again, for some reason comes with two more crew. But I'm not going to complain because we can just need some more infantry. There goes the loader. I mean, this gun, this thing, at this point, I should just rotate it sideways so it becomes a machine gun bunker instead of, uh, oh, we need another ammo crate because we're going through it pretty quickly. And this thing obviously loves to eat ammo. We're going to turn this sideways so at least I'm, ooh. Let's open to turn it sideways so the machine guns can do their work for as long as it lives. Although this thing is starting to really hurt. I don't know if we can hit that thing. We can uh, try. There's artillery. That might have been my 17 centimeter gun. Trying to use the 15 centimeter here. There is so much stuff on the screen. It's actually running pretty decent still. I'm wondering. I feel like the 150 would do a ton of damage to it. They finally broke the hull on my A7V. Not really surprising. I just tried to turn it sideways to so get some damage in. We could get another A7V, but I like the idea of just getting more infantry, honestly. I think it's more cinematic. It's a... Oh, my God. That was insane. It was like a mini nuke. And that's just a 17 centimeter for you. If only this 21 centimeter gun actually worked. But, well, it's a shame that it really doesn't. But, you know, you can't really do much about that. It's, like I said, version 0 0.1. So, <laughs> you have to make do with... Uh, with what you got. We're moving up this 80 millimeter mortar. Is that Wooly Pete? No, it's just regular smoke. It would have been cool to have Wooly Pete, but alas, it is just regular. This 17 centimeter mortar is just going ham. We are winning, but it's costing a lot of men. Uh, I've killed 440, lost 106, 185 kills, 220 deaths. Uh, 159, 351, and 164 and 309, or basically almost a thousand men have been killed um, by, between both sides. So this has already already become a, a kind of a brutal battle. That 17 centimeter just blows parts of the map completely out of nowhere. Our ammo crate just needs to get over the ridge here. So we really need to supply this 17 centimeter with more and more mortar shells. Our Stokes Mortar has now set up and is engaging. I'm kind of terrified of that male tank. So we're going to have to keep shooting. Maybe I'll get the 77 FK and see if we can at least do some damage with that. Let's get my guys off this machine gun because it's completely useless as it has zero ammo for it, basically. I don't know if we want to get into this A7V because it doesn't have a gun, but, well, it doesn't have ammo for its main gun anymore. I really want to try to destroy this. Wow, it's just not hitting it at all. We'll get the 77 millimeter gun up here and hopefully it'll be useful. Now we need to figure out, we are basically down to our last bits of doctrine points. We can get two more squads, but I don't think it's bad. Okay, this is where my sniper is. I don't know. It says he, okay, he's killed eight people. I mean, that's not terrible considering the mortar probably is picking off a lot of them. And this thing really, this guy really eats ammo like crazy. That goes to 17. Oh 
Oh my god, it's like a mini Carl Thor. It's only it's like a quarter of the Carl Thor in in size, but it feels like a basically a mini Carl Thor every time it fires, which is kind of cool. I don't know if we want to put our guys like a, among the ammo boxes, but we do really need to have guys. Oh, did we finally kill it? Oh, look at that. We killed the checker tank or chest tank. We killed it. That's perfect. And let's just set up on a position here alongside the mortar. The 17 centimeter just does not give up. Issue is that the thing that's going to give up soon is going to be the ammo. I just realized there is a medic, but I just really don't see a point in buying medics in this. It's just, it's not World War One enough. There's, it needs to be full of slaughter, right? Otherwise, it's not World War One. Let's get a shot off from this. Is it going to shoot? I don't think so. This thing will, I think, shoot. Our 21 centimeters is bugged. It's kind of a shame. It, like again, it acts more like a direct fire gun. Ah, oh, I could have done so much more damage. It did actually kill a lot of people. I wonder what the gun kill. 22 only. I guess this, this, the gas probably isn't counted accurately or at all. We do have one more Schutzen for free. It's always good. The middle, it's under our, oh, we actually lost one of the, oh, that's brutal. Just, oh, okay, well, we'll put uh, you, no, you are a sniper, that seems useless. We'll put, oh, oh, we're out of ammo. I need this ammo crate up here like tomorrow or yesterday, wait, what? At least there's an ammo crate coming. And our, wait, oh, that's our 150. I was so confused for a second. Set up my 7.7. I don't know if this thing can do anything. We'll set him on fire at will at this point. What if we just aim up high enough? Ooh, we're almost there. I'm trying to aim higher. Higher. Eh, that was not not that cool. Cool-ish, but we just need to use this as like an assault gun, but it needs to be like three feet from the target, I think. So it's not very effective of an assault gun, but it's funny. Ammo crate, are you here? I know you're like right here. Where did you go? Oh, our Stokes mortar is out of ammo. Oh, our ammo crate's on this side? No, 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 no. You need to get like straight across here or you're dying. No, come on, get up on the, I know they can get up on the trench. Be like right here. Sorry, sir, we're just gonna, yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. This is why you direct control sometimes, kids. Very important to direct control your equipment. The mortar only has five kills. The small mortar, I swear this one only has 59. I swear that's a low number, but whatever. Is this thing back up yet? It may be, it might be good to go soon. I feel like this thing could be useful now, especially when they don't have a gun to counter us. The 77, it only has a, Oh, that's HE for some reason. Okay, see, that's kind of weird. 76.2 millimeter Soviet ammo. So even the ammo is a placeholder just based off of that, I think. Is this the green cross ammo? I think it is. It would be good to get some more cool to get some more. Oh, that was a 17. It would be cool to get some green cross ammo down here, although I don't know if it's... Okay. I don't know if you're being useful. Switch to the green cross ammo. Stop. Are you loading? Is this the green cross ammo? Yeah, I think so. All right. Sniper is still shooting. Our mortar is running through ammo like crazy. So this is other mortar, by the way, but I mean, the 17 centimeter is just worth more, I think. Gee, oh man, there's just stuff flying everywhere. I mean, it does look really cool from down here. I wish there was more time for me to be down here. But it, it's interesting how I feel like I'm playing a better version of Battle of Empires, which again, this is very bare bones right now. But personally, I actually like Battle of Empires. I thought it was a cool game, a cool idea, just horribly executed where I feel like they um, realized that their game was like starting to get a little bit more popular 
So at some point they took off all of the, they basically separated everything from the game and like everything became a DLC or something. That's the last thing I saw anyway. Which is weird because I thought they had a pretty cool game on their hands. But yeah, I was going to make a video on it and then people were in the reviews were just saying like, oh man, this is a bad game now, etc, etc. And I just kind of felt like not very cool with promoting a game that people were in general like not well, not even promoting but like you know talking about or showcasing whatever you want to say was it a 21 centimeter just firing and that's the 80 it actually just fired huh okay let's push it up more then like the idea oh my lord look at the amount of infantry coming in okay let's rotate our a7v sideways so our guns can have uh, max Reload, reload, reload. These guns are about to start going am. I mean, that's look really cool with the green cross in the background and... Is that my ammo? Yes, perfect. Let's get you up here. Look at the ammo crate. It's a very good situation. I figured it was kind of useful to get that going. We maybe want to do another green cross shell right there. And just keep firing. We have like flamethrower, storm pioneer guys. Next to this A7V, there's the green cross. I mean, this does look pretty cinematic. It's a shame that I can't get ammo into this tank somehow. Now we're going to move up the tank. And then when it's moved, we're going to get the final Schutzen for our doctrine points. And that gas, is it like doing anything? No, they're, these guys are getting damaged. They're like acting weird inside of there. It might just be what I think is happening. It just seems like they're acting a little weird about it. Get some more green cross going. Oh, that was short. That was terribly short. That's going to who, uh... Yeah, well, it's a good way to sort of take off their direct route to my tank. But they're also, it's also very danger close to my friendly infantry there. Okay, my mortar. Where's the ammo crate? Okay, keep going. Another ammo crate. We're just gonna keep the ammo crates coming. Another Totenkopf Pioneer. Maybe we'll push those guys in there once the, uh, you know, <laughs> the actual gas is gone. Because right now I don't feel like it's a very useful thing to do. Let's move my gun up. These three guys do need some ammo. And I wonder if we could counter battery with gas. I I assume you would be able to, but it would feel a little on the strong side of things, considering I I swear to it said something about gas masks. But maybe not everyone has one. Alright, ready, steady. This is where it is. Oh, that might actually be just too short. Oh, look at the double flamethrower action. And this thing is still fine. It's got a lot of ammo left, so we're just, we can just keep moving this thing along. I don't know if the gas will... Well, hopefully it won't damage the... Uh, it'd be awkward if it damaged... Wait, does this thing have ammo? Oh, it's just a... Okay. It would be awkward if it damaged the, uh, the tank crew inside, but... Okay, let's get them out of here. Is it worth putting my guys in there yet? It could. I'm just interested to see if this mule, it says ammo carrying, and then when you stop it, it does have an ammo symbol around it. So it would be really funny if you could. Oh no, uh, we'll never know. We'll never know. We got them to zero points, but we were also very close to a thousand. Just a, a quick look at the Some Desperate Glory mod where we had over 1,500 casualties, which is feels pretty World War one to me. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Love to see you in the next one.